Mini ships. These ships look like toy boats kids could ride in, though their actual purpose is quite serious. Port Revel Ship Handling Center, founded in France, teaches ship handlers well to handle these very ships. Training on scale models, namely 1 25th scale replicas of actual ships, provides an experience that could never be obtained on real ships. The reason simple. Neither the ship owners nor the local authorities would allow training on actual ships, but now pilots, merchant marine officers, and other people from the sailing industry get the opportunity to experiment, explore the capabilities of ships, make mistakes, well, do everything that'll help them better handle real ships in the future. Port Revel's fleet includes 12 ships and 5 tugboats. Most of them are replicas of real ships with corresponding characteristics, just smaller. The Newby Hall Miniature Railway Want to take a ride on a steam locomotive that looks more like a children's toy, but designed for adults and running on actual coal? With cars looking more like a stroller in terms of size? This miniature railway is located on the estate of Newby Hall in North Yorkshire. It was created back in the 1970s and then expanded. The locomotives used on the railroad are two gas-powered Seven Lamb Westerns and a Royal Scott steam locomotive that really needs coal to move. The ride through the gardens takes about 12 minutes and the ticket costs about three and a half dollars. People actually like creating small models of trains. For example, an elderly man from Northern California named Max Schlanger built a 1 6 scale train in his backyard, which moves thanks to vacuum power and heavy-duty magnets. In fact, this is a prototype of a high-speed train, which as the man hoped could change the world. Well, the official website of the project hasn't been updated since 2017, so apparently changing the world will have to wait. DIY Submarines How about tiny submarines, created not at the factory but by enthusiastic people? Marine scientist Shani Stopnitsky, a captain of two small submarines, leads the 300-strong community Submersibles Project. All these people are engaged in the modernization of DIY submarines and the research of little-studied parts of the ocean. So far, the project can't promise full-fledged exploration. Some DIY submarines are only capable of submerging 30 feet deep for only half an hour. To change this, they need upgrades or entirely new mechanisms, including the life support system. Diving in DIY submarines is incredibly dangerous, but this doesn't stop the community. Actually, submarines can be made even by people who have no experience at that. Chinese farmer Tan Yong, who farmed chickens all his life, has designed a two-ton vessel that can dive 26 feet deep. It took him only two years, and the farmer admits that he had never studied such technologies in his life, but simply based everything on his imagination. Powered by five car batteries, the submarine can stay underwater for up to 45 minutes. The farmer hasn't added any life-saving gear to his vessel. Smallest Rideable Bicycle if you've ever tried riding a bicycle that was way too small for your height, you know how uncomfortable this is. Sometimes it's even impossible. But a man from the Russian city of Krasnodar and a bicycle enthusiast named Sergei Dashevsky has learned how to create surprisingly small bikes that are still rideable. They look like toys, but can support the weight of an adult male. In fact, Sergei spent his whole life assembling bicycles of his own design and using them to participate in marathons and then he began downsizing his developments. In 2008, he created his first mini bike. It was 9.5 inches long, and you can still ride it, if you manage to keep your balance. Naturally, such small and also rideable bicycles could not be ignored by the world when Sergei assembled a bicycle 3.3 inches long and 3.1 inches high. His achievement was mentioned in the Guinness World Records. This happened on September 15, 2019. Perhaps, given enough time, the inventor will improve his result. Street Pete Many years ago, NASCAR driver Clint Boyer was pulling a broken-down truck through the hills for miles just to get it off the highway. No one could have imagined that this story would result in the creation of the Street Pete, a small truck that's become one of the driver's favorite rides. It literally looks like a little kid's dream fulfilled by an adult, a fully operational truck, only smaller. There's even a passenger seat lift that can be raised to give you a better view of the road. Mini C-17 The Boeing C-17 Globemaster III is a very famous aircraft. There are currently 275 such aircraft in operation worldwide, 
with the U.S. Air Force being the largest customer. They have 223 C-17s, but few people know that one of these aircraft is six times smaller than the standard model. Meet a Mini C-17. The large version of the Boeing can carry several tons worth of payload, including tanks and Black Hawk helicopters, up to 2,800 miles. The Mini C-17 can't do all that, but not because the payload's too heavy for it. The thing is, in 2004, the pilots built this small aircraft around a John Deere Gator, adding to it all sorts of details to achieve more resemblance. For young professionals, this was a good exercise, and the result was a charming copy of a real Boeing. Alas, the Mini C-17 can't take off, but it's regularly featured at baseball stadiums, air shows, and parades. True, it has to be carried, disassembled in a large trailer, but if you remove the wings from the Mini C-17, it can drive up to 15 miles per hour. Columban Cree Cree Unlike a tiny Boeing, Columban Cree Cree, created in 1973, can actually fly. The plane has two engines, but only one is enough for takeoff. Its overall length is just under 13 feet, its wingspan is about 16 feet, and its maximum speed is 137 miles per hour. The plane was designed so it could be easily stored in the most ordinary garage and towed on a trailer. Assembly and disassembly take only five minutes. That is, it's the most easy to use aircraft. Cree Cree is made from aluminum sheet glued to Clegacel foam. Yes, this thing is quite lightweight, so it can carry only one person. Trebo 1060W This is a kid's electric bike, which, however, looks exactly the same as the real deal, only smaller. Thanks to a powerful 1060-watt electric motor, Trebo can accelerate to 15.5 miles per hour. Though it's equipped with a three-mode speed limiter, the minimum speed is 3.7 miles per hour. On a single charge, the motorcycle can travel up to six miles, but then it'll have to be charged for up to five hours. This toy is intended for kids from five years old, although the maximum load Trebo can carry is 242 pounds. This means that the bike is also suitable for an adult, if of course you manage not to fall from it. Usually, small bikes are intended for kids only. There are even kid bike races, which aren't that different from adult races. But these aren't the smallest bikes you can ride. After all, if there are tiny bicycles, why not downsize the motorcycle too? Throughout history, such attempts have been made more than once. For example, in February 1981, the smallest motorcycle was created in West Germany. Today, the title of smallest motorcycle belongs to the Swedish Smalto. QT Van In the UK, they created a small trailer, or one might even say a caravan, that's easy to transport using a scooter or bicycle. Measuring just 7.8 feet long and 5 feet high, it comes with everything you might need. A TV, a minibar, a full-size bed for one person, several bookshelves, and an alarm clock. And also a kettle. After all, this is a British design. If necessary, you can purchase extras like a satellite dish, a gaming console, central heating, or a luggage rack. In 2014, QT Van was mentioned in the Guinness World Records as the smallest caravan. The idea of QD Van came to the designer Yannick Red and the British Environmental Transport Association during the wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton. At that time, people stood in huge lines and slept on the sidewalks to get the best spots. But this was a serious challenge. If only they had a tiny trailer. And so it appeared. Dwarf Cars In Maricopa, Arizona, you can find the Dwarf Car Museum where every exhibit is designed by Ernie Adams. The cars are assembled from all sorts of junk. For example, the first such car, a two-door Chevrolet 28 sedan, was made in 1965 from nine old refrigerators. The man created it using a homemade hacksaw, hammer, and chisel. This car still drives to this day. They call it Grandpa Dwarf. After that, Ernie began to assemble small racing cars and other models getting more experience at working with metal. By the way, Ernie still hasn't sold any of his dwarf cars. He says he gets too much pleasure from driving them to part with cars for money. Not that he didn't have potential buyers. Someone once offered Ernie $450,000 for one of the cars. But the man still refused. School Bus If you've seen the movie Dumb and Dumber when Harry met Lloyd, this school bus may look familiar to you. Remember these shots? But unlike other props that can only be used on film sets, the cut-down bus actually exists, and you can even drive it. Of course, it doesn't take kids to school, and it's never been in mass production. It's just a modified bus. There might be a few other buses like this, 
For example, a bus that can be found in the Branson Celebrity Car Museum, which exhibits cars from a number of films and TV series. Quite a fitting place. Another cut-down bus was used as a tourist attraction by the owners of Whispering Winds Campground, and it still works too.